Hey guys, welcome back to Notorious Crafts. In this video, I will do a Rement miniature unboxing. And let me know down below in the comments which set you like the most. Here are the Rement miniatures that I got from the store Neko Stop in Los Angeles in the little Tokyo neighborhood. Um, I got these four. Um, I wanted to buy full sets of the Relacuma or the Snoopy set, but they did not have the full sets. They were actually all sold out, which is why I bought the individual ones. And I do not know what set I am getting. It could be one of these different eight ones. Now these all range in price. The cheapest one was this Relacuma one. It was $11.99 and the most expensive one was the Snoopy one at $14.99. And I believe these two were $13.99. So total with tax, I paid almost $60 for all four. I have wanted Rement miniatures for the longest time and I had not been able to find them until now. So I'm really excited to show you what I got. So first we will start off with the Relacuma set. So it could be one of these eight sets. I don't know which one it's going to be. Here is how you open it. Oh, this is so cute. So let's see what set this is. This is set number five. Okay. So it's this little basket. This is so cute. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. It's a little white mark at the back. But I love how it's a little bear shape and it says Relacuma. I like how everything has this cute little bear. Oh, it's salad dressing and the little onions. I really love this little detail of the bear. It's so cute. And this looks like it's a little broccoli. Okay, I am really happy with the set. It is so cute. And then I think you can actually cut this out and it's supposed to be like a little um, bag. Next we have Snoopy's Vintage Writing Room. So it could be one of these possible sets. Which one we got? Oh, it's just a piece of tape. And this is set number two. So it looks like it's just going to be this little like cork board with a book, and I think I cut these out. There's just little Snoopy on the, in the corner. And here's a book. Oh, it actually has Snoopy on the front. I think this is supposed to be tape. Yeah, that's supposed to be t um, tape. Oh, and these are little holders to put up our board. Okay. 
and I missed a piece inside. Um, I was a little confused um, where I was supposed to get these. I guess I'm supposed to cut these out or are they stickers? Okay, these are stickers that I will be sticking into both the book and onto this little board here. And one thing that's really cool is these scissors actually work. I absolutely love the detail of these miniatures. And next, I'm gonna add the stickers on. So I'm gonna start off by this scrapbook. The next I'll add them to this little cork board. One thing I noticed there is a little bit of paint going over the edge. And for the stickers for the cork board, I'm just going to follow the same exact order that they're in on this little example. So this one is just on a little tilt. This one goes right above Snoopy. And it just slightly overlaps this bigger one. I probably should have used these tweezers from the start and it would have just been a little bit easier to apply all the stickers. And then the last item is this little roll of tape. Here is the Kauai Cake Shop. So again, it's just gonna be one of the different eight possible ones. And we got number five. Oh, these are gonna be so cute. I love these little cupcakes. And this is just going to be our little cake platter. So these don't actually work or fold, but that's okay. They're still really cute. I love little bow. Oh, these cupcakes are so cute. They have so much detail. And then this is just gonna be a little box where the cupcakes go into, but I actually prefer them on this little platter. Yes, they're supposed to go in here. And here's the last one, it's the cinnamon roll kitchen. Here are the different possibilities of which one it could be. I'm so excited. This is actually one of the ones I really wanted to get. It's uh, let's see, number eight. It looks like a little gingerbread house. Oh, it is so cute. Oh, looks like it's the same piece that I got in the other box, the cake shop. So I do think it might be like a piece of candy. Okay, 
let's open this up. Actually, I wonder if I just... I still need to cut them. This is so cute. It's like a little gingerbread house. And this is, I think it's supposed to be just a little bowl, like a mixing bowl. on the platter. We have a little frosting. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like a little frosting maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, I see. It's supposed to go on top of the gingerbread house. I think. It's not really fitting, but let's try to see if it'll fit. Hmm. But I will put these little pieces in the bowl just so I don't lose them. And then this I could cut out so it actually becomes a little box. Oh, and same with this piece right here. And here are all four of the sets together. Don't forget to leave a comment down below which one was your favorite out of all four of the sets. And also, if you guys know where else I can buy full sets of Freemand miniatures, if you could also let me know that down below in the comments. I think next time I'm going to buy full sets instead of these individual ones, just so that I know exactly what I'm getting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video.